everyone welcome back to my channel this week i have a really exciting video it's a first impressions american makeup which cost me an arm and a leg not gonna lie so i didn't buy a full face of first impressions but i did buy a bunch of different products which i haven't tried before and i'm excited to try whether i've seen it online or through tiktok whatever it is okay waffle over let's get on with the video the first thing i do want to mention is a new skincare product i don't know if you guys have been watching my videos recently and noticed that I've been struggling with my skin and breaking out which is something I'm not used to like it's not something I'm versed with and no products that help because normally when I've gotten spots in the past it has been maybe for a couple weeks or a week because of my period but this has been my skin the past two months and it's definitely been a bit different to what I'm usually used to I don't know if you guys can see but these are no longer active breakouts this is scarring from breakouts i've had these ones um aren't active either they're just scabbed over which is gross but do you know what as long as you're not active i'm there for it and i honestly have to put it down to this dermatica personalized skincare product this is their monthly subscription so you get this bottle which seems small but it's actually just perfectly measured to last you 28 days so that you don't have leftover product because basically you work with the dermatology team to fill in a quiz about how your skin is how it's doing what your problems are what you want to improve on things like that and then they'll put together a personalized product and send it to your door and it comes so the reason why it is small like i said is so you're not left with over product and that they can re-examine you you get a new one each month so you can change the ingredients depending on what your skin needs and wants each month which i find amazing because clearly skin can be unpredictable you can have relatively clear skin for the longest and then not so having something like this is just so unique and something that i've been loving be normally i use this in my nighttime routine not necessarily before my makeup but i just want to show you like the consistency so i am just going to put it on now so you guys can see it's kind of the way i can describe it is it's like a thick watery like consistency like it's it's thin it doesn't sit heavy on your skin and honestly overall it's just an amazing product which i think if you are looking to personalize your skincare a bit more or if you're struggling with what your skin needs or wants defo go have a look at the dermatica website because i do have a code for you which could make your first couple months just to try it out quite inexpensive which we love a bargain if you use code izzy shay you get the first month for two pound 90 if you continue your subscription and you enjoy the product you get 10 percent off your next month normally 19.99 so it probably makes it around 15 pounds so yeah i've been loving this defo go check it out if you're interested in just changing up your skincare coming up to summer spring because your winter skin summer skin very different things but yeah i just wanted to show you guys the progress in my skin that i'm just so happy because i finally feel confident again and like it was really knocking my confidence bro but anyways let's get on with a little bit of a natural first impressions i don't think i'm gonna do any crazy makeup today just because i've been kind of avoiding it due to my skin let's just get on with it i'm gonna go in with my classic boy brown first just to moisturize my skin one of the personalized ingredients i put in my dermatica was to do with hydration and making sure that my skin is getting what it needs i was trying to decipher all the reasons why my skin could be freaking out the way it is and my solutions was the air con and drying my skin out I've never tried the True Match serum. I don't think I have, I don't remember. And I wanted a serum because I didn't bring a serum or like tinted moisturizer. I don't know what the shade match is saying. I like this little applicator. I don't know if it's like at, oh, it does actually squat out. There's nothing better than a fresh bottle of foundation. I can't lie. I'm gonna blend this in and see if the color matches. Cause it is quite light, I'm hoping it will. I'm trying to think what sort of look I can do today. I think I might do a no makeup makeup look next the age rewind concealer i have never tried this which a bit of a strange thing consider everyone and their mums has used this how exciting i love trying and finding new concealer everyone loves this show oh, that shade me too what the fuck is the noise <gasps> let's blend this out and see what the vibe is saying i don't know i like it but the coverage just 
isn't really the coverage I normally go for when I'm picking a concealer, if I'm honest with you. Don't get me wrong, I think for a natural makeup day like today, it's actually probably perfect. But day to day, I probably wouldn't use this just purely because I am a coverage whore. I'm gonna go in with a bit of cream bronzer, one I've always used, because I'm not gonna lie, drugstore makeup in the US is so expensive, you really might as well buy high-end makeup. I literally spent $100 on about six products. Who am I? Bill Gates. A little bit of blush. I love this Rare Beauty blush. I still haven't bought any more shades, but I will be because this one is definitely running out. I also need to buy a new makeup sponge because this one's already dirty as hell. I love when like the natural makeup looks natural because you know sometimes when you're like, oh, I'm going to do a natural vibe today and it ain't. Like so far, I'm just using a Charlotte Tilbury liquid highlighter to do my, you know, highlighted areas. I'm gonna pop a bit of my inner corner too. I'm gonna brush out my brows. I think I'm gonna fill in my brows with something just really quickly. I've been loving using eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows. Makes them blend so easily when it's powdered. I don't know what it is. It looks more natural. It just looks cute. I think I might do a no mascara makeup look today. Although I literally brought a mascara for this first impressions, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It was a waterproof mascara and I needed a waterproof mascara and I was like, I was heading out last night and last night it was raining like in the air and I was like, fuck, I wasn't meant to use it and I, I did. And like, I looked at my lashes by the end of the night and they were still curled and long and there was no like little black dots all over my face from where it would fallen apart. So the lash sensational is great. The waterproof, this is the full fan effect one. And I love this, um, much prefer it. The other mascaras I've been using right now, although it did leave a little smudge up here, which I don't know whose fault that was, probably mine. Anyways, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I have been waiting to try this for a minute because you can't buy this in England, or not that I'm aware of anyway. And you always see people talking about it on TikToks or for you or whatever. So, it's rare for me to honestly like a drugstore powder only because I find they look dry. Do you see that? No wonder everyone and their mum hides this up. I got this in the shade Fair, by the way, which is perfect because the only setting powder I brought is uh, like a yellowy color and this is like a bit brighter. Yes, 10 out of 10 for this one, especially in this shade. I really like the way it brightens my under eyes. Love that. Um, you're going in my makeup bag. Oh my god, I love finding products that I actually like. Because you know when you buy makeup products and you just finate it. And you're like, why? Because it's not cheap. So we want to know what works. So that Maybelline Fit Me Powder bronze is done. Oh, I used Scott Bars, by the way. I'm just not really mentioning the products that I've already used repeatedly. Because I've only got a couple more products to show you. I'm loving this no makeup vibe today. I think it's going to be a no mascara vibe because I think that's what keeps it looking very natural. Bit of highlighter, but I think I'm gonna just add a bit of um, eyeliner inside of my lash line so that I can. Just adding a bit of black eyeliner just to my upper lash line to darken it slightly, like so. I'm just gonna take an eyelash curler and curl the shite out of my lashes. Perfect. I mean, they're definitely gonna drop because my lashes are dead straight, but e.l.f. brow gel my fave i can't lie if you don't know get to know it's just a great little product especially for sleeking your brows on a day like today where you want to do like a natural vibe next is this la girl ultimate lip liner so let's see the shade i don't know how i feel about pinks very much a your lips but better color that's enough for me because that's quite pink Especially because I'm not doing up too much in terms of makeup, so I'm kind of crazy. Lip liner, I would give solid seven. I'll let you know in the description box because for me it's the wear test. If it doesn't wear well, then I don't give a fuck. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna have to give you an update. Oh, the color. Chunky. This is the next thing, by the way. This is CoverGirl Yummy Fresh Lip Gloss. Okay, that lip combo though. Stop. I did that quite well, I'm not gonna lie. Put that in my bag. This is the finished makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and going through the first impressions with me. I hope you guys seen some bits you enjoy. That's all from me. I just wanted to mention again my code for Domatica, who is the sponsor of this video, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that at the start there. Definitely use my code Izzy Shea. I'll link it in the top line of the description and on screen. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you all very, very soon. I love you. Bye.